Okay, continuing with the yellow slice, we are now going to look at population standard deviation. In a particular hospital, six newborn babies were delivered yesterday. Here are their weights in ounces. So we have a list of numbers, and um, we're interested in the uh, standard deviation of this population. Remember that standard deviation is a number that sort of explains how these values are spread out and how much different they are from each other. So uh, the way to come up with this is best done by working with a formula. So let's look at our formula over here for population standard deviation. Keep in mind that our formula is very much like a recipe. It tells us, first of all, a list of ingredients that we have to have to make it work. And then it's actually a set of instructions telling us step by step what to do. And it's all in a very compressed, sort of a shorthand kind of a form. Notice here that we're going to take a big square root. And then we're going to sum. This symbol means that we're going to add up a whole number of things. Each of those things are comprised by taking x. This means that we're going to take each of the numbers on the list. We're going to subtract from that the average of all of those numbers. And then we're going to square that. And then add those all up. Divide that by the sample size, the number on the list. And finally, take the square root of it at the end. So we've got a lot to do. The first thing it's telling us is we're going to need to do the average or the mean. And so we're going to have to go back review a previous lesson for that and do that first. So you may recall here that the mean or the average is the sum of x divided by n. So let's go over there and work on that first. Notice that we have our values here. Our Alex calculator is going to allow us to quickly add these up so we can add our numbers. And that's going to be 678. We're going to divide that by the number of numbers. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Of course, it tells us that up here. So we'll simply divide that by 6, and we'll calculate the mean. The mean, then, is 113. So let's make a note. Go back and take a look at our notes on that. And so we can see our mean's going to be 113 here. Okay. If we wanted to take more detailed notes, we could, of course, we could uh, have recorded the in-between step, the sum of x. But for now, at least, let's just move ahead into the next step. What we have to do now is to take each of our numbers and uh, work through the process. So let's uh, go over here and take a look at um, our notes. And uh, once again, let's, let's review here. We have... Um, the big square root. So let's start out with that. We're going to have uh, each time the x value. Now our first x value, if we go back over here and take a quick look at that, that's 119. So we're going to take our 119, subtract our average, which is 113, and then we're going to square it. Then we're going to add now, the next time, we're going to take our next value of x. Now, the next x on our list is 122. So, we're going to take 122, subtract our average, 113, and then we're going to square it. Then we're going to continue on. I think I'll just go ahead and finish this. You can kind of work along with me, and we'll get this set up. Okay, I've been working this in steps, as I assume that you have too. So notice again here that 119 minus 113 is 6, and 6 squared is 36. 122 minus 113 is 9, and 9 squared is 81. 115 minus 113 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So as we work on the next one, you've got 103 minus 113, which is negative 10. Negative 10 squared is going to be 100 down here. And so I just did all the rest of those, then added these numbers up here. And at that point, I got 426 
you might check and be sure that you've got that. Now we're going to take the square root of 426 divided by 6. Let's go back and do that on the Alex calculator. So we can simply clear, we can go ahead and hit the square root 426 divided by 6 and just put it in at that stage. Of course we can work a lot of the other stuff on the calculator as well. The answer that I get here is 8.426 and a number of decimals. They want this to at least two decimal places. So on our second decimal place, 8.426. The next digit is a 6. That's going to cause us to round up 8.43. So 8.43 is going to be our population standard deviation. Let's check that. And notice that Alex is happy.